There are thousands of accessories on the market for photography gear. However, not a lot of good ones under $50. Hi everyone, welcome to pal to tech Today we are talking about the five best accessories that I think you can get for your Fujifilm camera that are under $50. Now there are definitely more than five, but the ones that I am gonna go over, I use all the time. The first on the list is also the cheapest. Coming in at $9 is the custom shutter release button. When you first purchase your Fujifilm camera, your shutter button looks like this. And while you can certainly use it as is, once you begin using a concave style shutter release button, you may never go back to using a convex shutter button again. I find that when I have a concave shutter button like this, my finger easily fits right within it and I actually have more control and I don't accidentally depress the shutter button all the way down from that halfway position. And the other benefit to this is that they come in different colors and they actually look pretty cool. Of course, if you have the horrible problem of having more than one Fujifilm camera, terrible problem to have, well, now you can easily get two different colors and tell them apart. Now, something very important to remember, Always be very careful when screwing these custom shutter release buttons onto your camera. You wanna make them firm, but not too tight. And yes, they will fall off occasionally from time to time. So you might wanna have one or two handy if that happens to you. Now for myself personally, and all the time that I've owned these two cameras, they've only fallen off twice. So continuing for improving the ergonomics on the top of the camera, the next item on my list is the metal thumb grip for about $25 just like this. When you're holding a Fujifilm camera, such as an X-T3 or an X-T4, you'll notice that Fujifilm has included a small little, let's call it a protrusion, right up from the side of the camera right here. And it's sort of for you to rest your thumb against. However, depending upon the size of your hands and more importantly, the weight of the lens you have on the camera. So by having this thumb grip right here, now you have an easy place to rest your thumb and you can get a firm, easier grip on the camera as a whole. The only disadvantage to this is that obviously it uses your camera's hot shoe, right? So this would definitely be an issue if you were shooting with a flash. However, because it's so easy to take off and put on, it's great to have one of these in your camera bag for when you're out and about and you're shooting and you don't need a flash. Next on the list coming in at $14 is the eye cup. When you purchase a Fujifilm camera, they include a very small and short eye cup. And for some people, particularly those that primarily use the rear LCD screen all the time, then this is no problem and there's no need to change anything. However, for photographers that wear glasses, it can really be helpful to have a taller or wider cup that you can put your face closer to that can block out all the light, get right up against the camera, but without smearing your nose print all over the rear LCD screen. There's a variety of different size options for these customized eye cups, and I'll have a link to some of them in the description below this video. And and my same advice for the custom shutter buttons applies to the eye cups as well. Just be careful when putting them on and off your camera. However, once they're on the camera, they pretty much stay on the camera. Now my next accessory starts to cross the line into transforming your Fujifilm camera into something that it really was never intended to be, a larger, more DSLR style camera. I'm talking about the metal hand grip L bracket, and it's designed to allow your fingers to have more room to curl around the front area of the camera like this. Now it screws on to the bottom tripod mount and has openings for the battery compartment and oddly, an opening for the battery grip contact points, which makes no sense because you would actually have to remove this L bracket anyway in order to put a battery grip on the camera. Now, something else I love about this accessory is that not only does it have a quarter inch 20 tripod mount right here, of course, but the bottom of this grip has an Arca Swiss type quick release plate notch on it, which can easily mount to any compatible ball head mount just like this. I will have links not only to this one, but some of the more other featured ones as well, particularly particularly those from small rig where you're starting to get into camera cages and things like that. They offer a lot more features than this grip, which is primarily aimed at improving ergonomics. Now we come to my final and favorite accessory for under $50 for your Fujifilm camera. I'm talking of course about a third party extension tube for the X mount lens system. I'm not gonna get into too much 
detail on these extension tubes and how they work as I made a whole video all about this accessory and you can check that out for more details. What I do wanna tell you is that if you don't already own a dedicated and I might add expensive Fujifilm macro lens, then having this little $40 accessory will allow you to get some amazing close-up macro shots using all kinds of Fujifilm X-mount lenses. Okay, I have a 35 millimeter F2 Prime right now on a Fujifilm X-T3 camera. This is about as close as I can get. Do you see that? So now I'm gonna take the $40 macro tube and put it between the camera and the lens. Now look at how close I can get. Have a look at that. Here's the Viltrox 23 millimeter. Now, Fujifilm makes their own brand of these in two different sizes, the MCEX11 and the MCEX16. If you're just getting started, get the 11. You don't need the 16, as this will give you the most versatility. However, Houston, we have a problem. The Fujifilm brand sells for $99 each, so... That's out of our budget. So to stay under $50, I recommend the JJC brand, which sells this extension tube for about 40 bucks. And like the Fujifilm brand, the JJC connects to the camera electronically so that your camera has full control over the lens. And for even less money, you can pick up one of these meek, meek, Mickey, Mike, Mookie, Mook, Mookie, Mookie. I still can't pronounce it. I'm just gonna call it Mikey. You know, Mikey, he likes it. I like it because it's cheap. It's about 30 bucks. And now you have yourself a pretty cool extension tube. I'll have a link to all of these in the description below this video. There are thousands of accessories on the market for photography gear. However, there's not a lot of them that are under $50. I hope that today's list of what I consider to be the five best ones has been helpful to you. If it has, be sure to give it the like and subscribe and I will see you in another video again real soon. Take care.